Rachel Contrasta, and I'm a rabbi for human rights. I work for Rabbis for Human Rights in North America as the director of education outreach, which means I direct our programs against torture, our program against slavery, and I run Human Rights Shabbat. And what is Human Rights Shabbat? Human Rights Shabbat is a celebration of Jewish values and human rights. It's an attempt to teach the Jewish community about the connections between universal values of freedom and justice and equality and the Jewish value of Tzalem Elohim. So this year more than 100 congregations are doing a Human Rights Shabbat in their community, meaning that they're having a discussion, they're saying a human rights prayer, they might be hearing a sermon about Judaism and human rights. Um, any way to, that works for their community to make the connection between Jewish values and universal human rights. And what is Rabbis for Human Rights North America's program on torture about? We were one of the first Jewish organizations to respond after the Abu Ghraib photos came out. We understood immediately that the torture of detainees in American custody said something very troubling about America's moral values. And we've been speaking out saying that torture is wrong, torture does not keep us safer, and that we have an obligation as Jews to speak out about that. Right now, what that means is we're still continuing to educate Jews about the problem of torture and also why Judaism is against torture. I think especially when people think about Israel, about the United States, they think about the ticking time bomb scenario and why we try to teach them that even that, you know, the idea of saving a life does not allow people to torture someone else. Um, and we also work on legislation and advocacy. And what, can you tell me a little bit more about what Rabbis for Human Rights North America is doing about slavery and human trafficking? Slavery and human trafficking are one of the biggest problems in our world today. More, conservative estimates say that 27 million people are being trafficked annually or are held as slaves, sorry. Um, but that's actually very conservative. I've heard double the number. Some activists are stopping to even give a number to the number of people enslaved. And yet it's hidden. We don't think about slavery in our supply chain. We don't think about slaves living in our communities. We might think a little bit about sex trafficking, but we don't really know that it's there or it's a problem that happens to someone else. So we're educating the Jewish community about the problem of modern slavery. We're teaching them ways that they can respond through activism, through, through um, investor advocacy, through the products that they buy, and encouraging them to get involved with local groups who are fighting, who are working with victims of trafficking in their own community. And what would you like a rabbi or a lay individual to do um, to get involved with Rabbis for Human Rights? I think first I'd like them to believe that these problems are solvable. The, 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 uh, the image I've been thinking a lot recently is the Kony Amagal, the, the Kony who, plant, you know, the circle maker who, who someone, he sees someone planting a tree and he doesn't think it's going to be useful because it's going to take so long for the tree to grow. But in the end, 70 years later, he wakes up and the tree is bearing fruit. And the problems we work on, they seem unsolvable. But if you just take long enough and have hope, that's the first step. You can believe that we can solve torture, we can solve slavery, we can bring human rights to the Palestinians and, and Jews in Israel. Um, so that's the first step, is believing we have hope. And then I just invite, invite people to, to take action with something that means something to them, whether it's bringing human rights Shabbat to their community, whether it's learning more about slavery and take, making a phone call. It just takes a little bit of a step. Or whether it's learning more about torture and being willing to advocate to bring an anti-US sponsored torture to end arbitrary detention. I just encourage people to take action.